been a while since I've had a movement offering. And this thing that we do all day long, bending. And what we tend to do is we tend to bend from our hearts and then our head comes up like this. And it creates mischief whether we feel pain in the moment or not. Maybe our back will hurt more at the end of the day because we've been bending from our heart and not our hips. So how do we learn to bend from our hips? One of the things I do in classes is we do the hip tip, hip tip tap. And as we do the hip tip tap, particularly if our palms are up, our shoulders come back a little bit. And then there's a place that we can go down into gravity to go up and over that our hips bend. Once we feel that our hips bend, we can do other things. This is done with symmetrical stance in the beginning. So there's lots of little bends that we do all day long. So I'm here at the stove. There's a rhythm, there's a flow, even in the small bends. And so you can maybe the practice becomes, the conscious practice becomes hip tap, feel the bend, then put your hands out. In the long run, um, when I was in Seattle, uh, one of the patterners there said that she teaches, it's an alphabet, it's the ankles, we move through our ankles, then our hips go back, then our knees bend. What we tend to do is we bend our knees first and it stops the rhythm of the dynamic energy. So I'm gonna practice and I'm gonna hip tap, lean through my ankles, hips go back, feel my knees bend, then my hands can come out and I can push off and do different things here. Well, what if I have to bend further? I, I know my intention is to open the stove and then I go, ah, that needs to be clean. So then I'm going over to where I keep the spray stuff. Now I have to go down further. So I'm going to think about it, hip, lean. Now here I've taken on an asymmetrical stance for going down smooth further. And you can do asymmetrical stances in other places too. Rocking, hip tap, ankles, hips, knees, then I reach. Ankles, hips, knees, then I reach. What we tend to do is we tend to reach first, then, then it gives us that heart bending. Three rock, ankles, hips, knees, and then reach. And then come forward to push off the ground, push off the ground, push off the ground. You could like splash in like five good bends and each time you're coming forward and pushing off the ground, change your feet up, push off the ground. This is where we're really in authentic balance versus overcompensation and tension and pulling stuff off. The kitchen is where we really get a lot of chance to practice all of this. If you're just receiving this and you haven't received them before, I've added some people to this uh, reminder <laughs> offering and uh, I really love doing this. Everybody have a happy Thanksgiving and uh, we'll catch you at the next offering. Ankles, hips, knees, reach. Ankles, hips, knees, reach. Ankles, hips, knees, reach. Ooh, could be a mantra. Okay.